What's going on guys? It's Tom here from Elevate Digital and Google has been at it again, changing things and making updates and making a bit of a nightmare for everyone. We've had um, lots of people having issues getting their analytics tracking code. Lots of our clients haven't been able to find them. Um, and basically what's happened is Google's recently launched an update which forces um, when you're creating an account by default, it sets up a new kind of analytics property called Analytics 4 using their new Firebase platform, which basically allows you to track things like app data and have lots more data points. The issue with that is that a lot of platforms and websites obviously still rely on the UA tracking code, so it can cause major your issue. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your UA tracking code, um, even if you've got this new property. So if you have tried setting up your Google Analytics account and you are seeing a screen like this with things like lifecycle, user events, etc., it probably means you have set up the Analytics for property. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how this works and how you can set up a standard universal analytics account so you can get your UA tracking number. So all you need to do is click on the admin panel here and this will then bring you um, and you'll be able to create a new account. So I'm going to just do a test account here. So let's just call this test. And then you'll just proceed with these as usual. You don't want to put in your property name. So let's just call this test again. And you're going to click here, show advanced settings, uh, show advanced options, sorry. And you'll then see this here. I have no idea why they've hidden it away and made it so difficult to find, but that's just Google. Um, so you're going to click um, enable this button. So create a universal analytics property. You'll then have two options here. So one will say create both analytics for, which is the new one, and a universal analytics property. If you've already made your analytics for account, you don't need to worry about doing it again. So you can just click on this one. Um, again, all analytics for does is it just introduces lots of new data points. It allows you to track, you know, things like app data if you have an app. Um, so it may not even be something that applies to you. Um, but again, if you just want to get your UA tracking number, you just need to make sure you're setting up the universal analytics property. Um, so let's just, I don't know, let's just put in a test website here, test.com. And then you just fill in the fields as you usually would. Um, arts and entertainment. Tick the boxes that apply to you. Create. And then you will have your tracking details and there is your UA number. Um, so there you go, guys. That's how to get your UA tracking code if you haven't been able to find it. Um, it's basically the fact that Google now, when you're setting up a new account, unfortunately, they are now um, setting this analytics for property by default. Um, but it's very easy. And even if you are starting from scratch and don't already have an analytics for property, as you are going through that process, when you get to step two, as we just did, make sure you just um, click on that show advanced options and make sure you're setting up the universal analytics property as well. And that way you will get your tracking code. Hopefully that's helped. Um, if you want to see more content like this, I post lots of videos about marketing and ways to increase your conversion rate and get more out of your marketing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to the channel and I will speak to you guys very soon.